So before the video even starts, guys, uh, can you guys please do me a favor? Watch the video all the way through if you can. And also, uh, if you like the video, please hit the like button and possibly share the video. And if you really want to see more content from me, definitely, definitely subscribe. This helps us uh, with the YouTube algorithm because likes and things like that are the things that drive us to be seen by other people and by people that normally wouldn't be able to see our videos given that we're a smaller channel. So with that being said, guys, let's get into it. So Sony uh, has now hit back against Microsoft's opening salvo, and that looks a lot like them acquiring Bungie for $3.6 billion. Now, of course, this is the opening punch from Sony uh, after getting knocked directly in the face by Microsoft's acquisition of Activision Blizzard. So what did Sony do? Well, they bought Bungie. And we're going to discuss what that means for the gaming industry. So in a bid today, I guess to not only save face, but really just show that, you know, Sony has some might to throw around. They purchased uh, Bungie and all the IP that go along with that. And what makes it interesting is that the CEO of Bungie actually had a lot to say. And what he started out with is this. In Sony Interactive Entertainment, we have found a partner who unconditionally supports us in all we are and who wants to accelerate our vision to create generation-spanning entertainment, all while preserving the creative independence that beats in Bungie's heart. Now, what I see from this is uh, that he probably meant this as a slight to Microsoft and Activision, because as we both know, Microsoft and Activision uh, owned Bungie at one point. And due to creative differences, Bungie parted ways with both of these studios. And especially with Activision, it was interesting that not only were they able to part ways with Activision, but they were able to keep the Destiny IP, which now subsequently belongs to Sony. Now, what will be interesting is what Sony intends to do with Destiny, which currently is a multi-platform title. But let's keep on reading as to what uh, Mr. Parsons had to say. Like us, Sony Interactive Entertainment believes that game worlds are only the beginning of what our IPs can become. Together, we share a dream of creating and fostering iconic franchises that unite friends around the world. Families across generations and fans across multiple platforms and entertainment mediums. Now see, right here he says, fans across multiple platforms. So what that tells me is that more than likely, PlayStation isn't going to take uh, Destiny away from other platforms, in particular Xbox and PC. I, I don't see that really happening. But what I do see happening is Sony creating new IP from Bungie Studio and allowing Bungie to do what they do best, and that's create really cool first-person shooters and more than likely an exclusive first-person shooter. That's what I see coming. And uh, we'll talk about that in just a second. Let's see what Jim Ryan, president and CEO of Sony Interactive Entertainment, had to say. He says, Bungie's world-class expertise in multi-platform development and live game services will help us deliver on our vision of expanding PlayStation to hundreds of millions of gamers. Herman Hulse, head of PlayStation Studios, reiterated that sentiment in a separate blog post. Bungie's technical expertise, coupled with their track record of building highly engaged communities, make them a natural fit for collaboration with PlayStation Studios. We are excited to make plans to share skills and expertise and to unlock the potential in having the brilliant minds at Bungie under the PlayStation roof. Bungie is telling the audience flatly that its future games will not become PlayStation exclusives. No, we want the worlds we are creating to extend to everywhere. Play games, we will continue to be self-published and creatively independent, and we will continue to drive one unified Bungie community. Now see, what this is telling me, of course, is that any future Destiny titles, uh, whether there's a Destiny 3 or not, will end up being... Uh, multi-platform but like I say Sony's not gonna drop six uh, 3.6 billion dollars with a B 
without them getting some sort of exclusive title out of the deal. We know this. So, you know, like I say, Destiny is going to say multi-platform, and that's cool. That's good for gaming. That's good for everybody. That's good for all platforms involved. But just like Microsoft has done with their acquisitions, uh, something is going to be exclusive to the PlayStation platform and the PlayStation family. So, I mean, you guys tell me what you think, uh, whether you guys think this is a good thing or a bad thing. Uh, we knew that Sony would end up having to respond to Microsoft because, I mean, honestly, you can't let that go unchallenged, even if you don't really want to buy up and gobble up a bunch of studios. But this is still in accord with what PlayStation has always done, which is finding partners that they work well with and then acquiring them over time. Because as you remember, Destiny did have uh, certain features that were timed exclusive. So that being said, like I say, let us know what you thought about uh, it in the comments. Uh, give us a like if you liked the video. Uh, think about subscribing if you want to see more of our videos and possibly share the video out to other people. Uh, we'll see you on the next one, guys. 8-Bit Heroes out. Peace.